Hi everybody, so here we are. Um, I will show you everything that you need to make this recipe. So it calls for, um, well you'll need this spoon to scrape your bowl. You'll need a measuring cup to measure out your milk. So you will need um, three cups of milk. Three cups of milk this calls for. And the pudding size package that I get is um, it's Jello vanilla instant pudding and pie filling, and it's the one that makes six and a six and a half cup servings. So this is the larger package. Um, you can make it with the smaller package of pudding mix, but then you need um, two of them. And you can purchase either two of this size Cool Whip or any kind of whip topping. It can be store brand. It could also be sugar free if that's what you choose or fat free. Um, but this is the regular size and it's eight ounces. So you would need two of those. Or you could use um, the large, I don't know how many ounces it is, the large. Um, container of Cool Whip or any kind of whip topping. Um, I use one package of Oreos and if you liked vanilla better you could substitute it with vanilla Oreos and this is the 14.3 ounce package. What I use to crush the Oreos is this. This is a four cup work bowl made by Cousinart. Cousinart. It's a mini prep plus. Um, you could use a food processor or before I had anything like that, I just used um, a Ziploc bag and anything I could to pound it to crush the Oreos. You know, whatever it is that you have, you work with that. And then I use the, um, the KitchenAid um, to do all my blending but again it, you don't need this you can use whatever um, blender it is that you have blender or hand mixer or and then again your spoon for scraping the bowl so let's get started I'm going to the first thing that you want to do is um, you want to put your vanilla pudding in the, um, in the blender bowl and and you're going to make your pudding just like normal with uh, this calls for three cups of cold water so we're going to add in our three cups of cold water and mix it and put it in the fridge and this really only needs to go in the fridge for like five minutes and it um, you know solidifies it but so I just had enough milk so we're going to blend that and I use the whisk setting on my um, KitchenAid and I blend it on high just for you know not that long just till it's all mixed up and then I will take it and just take my bowl and put my bowl in the fridge for just five minutes while it um, while it makes my pudding okay so while that's in there um, solidifying I just take my Oreos and put um, you know, it, it all depends on what your little food processor can hold. But I put about one sleeve in and I crush them. And I'll 
just show you once and then I won't have you have to suffer through watching me do the whole package. But Okay, so this is what it should look like, kind of like, um, you know, like dirt. And the name of this dish is dirt. So I'm going to take that, pour all that contents into a bowl on the side, and then go on to my next batch. Okay, so as you can see, my vanilla pudding has solidified so the next step is to take your cool whip and to add it in so you're just going to scoop it out of your container add it in there and then you get your second container and you add that in. And then I'm gonna mix it up again. stop after a few you know after a minute and then I mix it up just in case you know it's to bring up from the bottom to the top because sometimes the powder from the um, the pudding mix kind of collects at the bottom and then I'll turn it on again And that's what you have and I usually have a lot of volunteers to uh, lick this and the spoon but uh, my kids are out right now so I usually put it in one of these containers or um, you know if I'm at home making this for at home I'll put it actually in like a parfait dish you know a gigantic parfait dish so it looks really pretty like that because you have the two layers but I mean you could layer it any way you want you could do a layer of Cool Whip and then a layer of the Oreos or you can substitute the Oreos for um, for brownies you could add both I mean it's up to you you could add you know you could make the whole thing sugar-free because they do make sugar-free Oreos. They're hard to find, but they do. Um, I've done that, and my kids did not know the difference at all. So I'm just leveling off. And then you just pour your Oreos on top. And then kind of, you know, spread them out in this spot that you mix. Of course, washing your hands first. And then just spread it out. For a good presentation, you want to cover the whole thing. Then I cover it with saran wrap. Let me see if I can get you in close. Oh, you can see it from there. 
I cover with saran wrap and put it in the fridge. And some people will put like gummy worms in here and you know, you can do whatever you want, you know, for um, decorating it. But it is delicious. Um, I get asked to make it by a lot of people when I am going to their house for a party or a holiday. And um, it's a crowd pleaser. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.